Hello, vinyl community. All right. Um, this is yet another video from uh, yesterday. Um, I was having one of those days, needed a little vinyl therapy, uh, so I went out to my usual digs and uh, made a couple good stops. And yeah, so I have some records to show you. So again, in the interest of keeping things short and sweet, let's get right down to it. The first stop was the, actually it wasn't the first stop, but we won't bother with all those details. <laughs> Um, the first successful stop was the Mary S. Roberts Pit Adoption Center Thrift Shop. Um, their, their turnover of vinyl is not very quick. <laughs> um, they, they've had a lot of the same records for a long, long time. Occasionally they'll get like a big batch, like a, a new collection, and hidden away in the corner I found a little batch that I had never seen there and I was pretty excited because I'm trying to build up the classic country in my collection and one of the artists I am um, not hesitant to, to consider is Merle Haggard so this is back to the bar rooms these were a dollar each. Someone was definitely a Merle Haggard fan. So this is Merle Haggard and the Strangers presents his 30th album. I don't know, is that the name of the album there? No. No. <laughs> oh, Hag, I guess that... I guess that's what he goes by, hag. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Now, I'm not, like, extremely familiar with his music, but I know he is one of the classics, and you can't go wrong with his music. Um, so I picked up several. This one I'm very excited about, actually. Uh, we have Merle Haggard, My Farewell to Elvis. That is very interesting. I think this one I allowed for some uh, some minor scratches. Um, none of these were in fantastic shape, but um, they're they're in in good shape though. Uh, oh man! Um, so the, basically, it's songs that you know, obviously Elvis Presley did, uh, from Graceland to the Promised Land, in the ghetto. <laughs> That's. It's it's a funny song, uh, originally written by Mac Davis. Um, Don't be cruel, jail, jailhouse rock, love me tender. Uh, that's all right. I'm not familiar with that one, Mama. That's all right, Mama. Um, Heartbreak Hotel, of course. Blue Christmas, Blue Suede Shoes. Are you lonesome tonight? And then I guess he has an actual little 17 second farewell to Elvis. It'll be interesting to see what he says or sings or. Who knows what, but very excited about that one. Then, Merle Haggard and the Strangers. It's all in the movies. So I, I'm assuming these are these are songs from the movies, or I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to dwell on it. <laughs> yeah, but it, there were actually a, a handful of... Merle Haggard records that I left behind because of, you know, too many scratches. Um, but yeah, I went from no Merle Haggard, or maybe one, to a bunch. <laughs> then we have The Roots of My Raising, Merle Haggard and the Strangers. The Roots of My Raising. A couple more of Merle Haggard, anyway. Um, this looks like one of his later ones, uh, Chill Factor. Um, from 1987. And the last Merle Haggard. I feel an affinity with him because um, this is Merle Haggard and the Strangers, my love affair with trains. I don't quite have a love affair with trains, but... 
I'm very fascinated by them. I used to have a, a model railroad, blah, blah, blah. I won't go into that further, but that's awesome. So I guess it's all train-related songs. Those would be very good. All right. Then my next stop was um, um, Goodwill. And I found some good stuff at Goodwill. <laughs> All right, the first one, these were $1.99. Um, Lena Horn, a new album. Then this is interesting because there were several of, of these in these bags, I guess, from one person's collection. And some of them had two records in them. And the price sticker is on the outside, so I, I figured, oh, well, it's $1.99 for two records in this case. So, um, I got it because of this record. So, Lena Horn, Nature's Baby. I'm, I'm not all that familiar with, with Lena Horn, but I know she's like a huge name, though, so I figured, huh? And this one just looks funny. This was like the bonus that was in there. So, uh, Ramsey Lewis and Nancy Wilson. I love that cover. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I, in a way, I feel like things have come full circle. Um, a long time ago, um, I made a feeble attempt at buying vinyl at the swap meet. And one of one of the records I found was this one. Stevie Wonder, Inner Vision, Inner Visions, and um, long story short, the woman wanted too much for it, and someone I don't know if it was her, but someone had put a price sticker right on the the playable portion of the record. It's like, why would you do that? Why? I mean, it's one thing to put it on the label, even that's bad enough, but to put it on the playable part of the record? Come on. <laughs> so, I was happy to find, find this album. I have three, I think, I think I counted them because I was checking to see if I had this one or not. And, um, yeah, I, I didn't have this one, so that was fortunate. And, um... Because I was remembering it from that trip to the swap meet. Um, yeah, but at that time I was very disappointed to have to pass on it. And um, now here it is. Yeah, very cool. So that marks my fourth Stevie Wonder record. Um, Bob Skaggs, I'm... I'm not hugely familiar with his music. Um, I do know he's, I mean, he can easily be found at Goodwill or any thrift shop. Um, yeah, I see his stuff all the time. But a while back, I, I actually heard one of his songs, and I was like, oh, that was Boz Skaggs. Oh. And so I decided, well, I'll keep an eye out for that particular album and, and pick it up. Um, I did see a Greatest Hits album called Hits, um, but I passed on it. Um, I'm, I'm not really into Greatest Hits albums. Um, I appreciate albums as a creative piece rather than taking a bunch of hits and putting them on a record. Um, but I have been known to pick up Greatest Hits records, so, um, but not really for him. This is not the album I was looking for, but I was happy to pick it up, though. All right, are you ready for the last record? Now, you're going to laugh at me. You're totally going to laugh at me, but this is a grail for me. You're totally going to laugh. And you're going to probably hate my use of the word grail, but I just can't explain it. Mr. Rogers, you are special. <laughs> now, it, this copy's in, in rough shape. You see there's a, a tear there, and... This was originally supposed to be shiny and basically like a mirror so that you could look and, and see yourself there. Um, but you know what? I will pick up Mr. Rogers in any condition because 
This only marks my second record of Mr. Rogers. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, the other one I bought on eBay, and I actually, including shipping, I believe I paid like 20 bucks for that one. So, he, let me just put it this way. He is one of my heroes. Um, I think he was just a fantastic human being, and it's, it's really too bad that kids nowadays don't have someone like Mr. Rogers. Um, I was very fortunate. I grew up watching his show. Um... But kids nowadays, they don't, they don't have anyone like that. They have cartoons. <laughs> um, they, they don't want to take the time to watch someone playing with puppets and playing in the neighborhood of make-believe. Um, but I was thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. At first, I passed by it because, you know, I'm going through and just by the colors, I could tell it was a children's record, so I was skipping by it, and I was like, wait a minute, did that say what I thought it said? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I went back and saw it, oh, Mr. Rogers, <sighs> what a great man, um, yeah, I, I love his music, uh, it's funny because <laughs> sometimes the wife and I sing uh, this one here, uh, you can never go down the drain, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh man, uh, I th I want to say he's available on on Netflix. Well, not Netflix on on Amazon Prime, the uh, instant videos. Um, so if you want to catch an an episode or two, and uh, sadly they don't they don't air his show anymore. They have a show related to his, but anyway, all right, we're up to twelve minutes now, so I better I better end this before the angry mobs come saying, Greg, why are you taking such a long time showing your records? And <laughs> uh, I do apologize, but you know, it's all in fun and, it, you know, nobody's twisting your arm to watch the whole thing or you could just forward through bits and there's that little thing you can scroll at the bottom, you know, and kind of see, all right, is he showing a record or not? <laughs> is he showing a record or is he telling a story? <laughs> Alright, well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.